Innovating Education Learning World in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation. This week's Learning World focuses on three projects awarded by Doha's World Innovative Summit for Education, WISE, in 2011. We visit Morocco, the UK and Ghana to see some of the groundbreaking approaches that aim to spread good practices, share knowledge and promote creative thinking. WISE also invites the project holders to participate in the applications for the 2012 WISE Awards starting from the 1st of April till the end of May. We start in Morocco with the Al Jazeera organization, which is getting the business community to help improve the education system through direct investment. It's a kind of adoption scheme in which individual schools benefit from the expertise and resources of private companies. They, in return, hope to gain from improved education standards in the future. More now in this report. Funding education isn't always just a question of having the money. It's often an ideological question of where education funding should come from. Here in Morocco, the NGO Al Jissa sets up partnerships between private companies and state schools. It's a real success story, and now, for the first time, we have an ex-pupil sponsoring their old school through their own company. The idea behind Al Jissa is really an NGO which is of public use. Our name means bridge, and we bridge the gap between private enterprise and state schools in Morocco to improve the education system here. The ex-pupil who became a director of a telecoms outfit persuaded the company to sign a three-year sponsorship deal with the Idris II school in Casablanca. The school was falling apart. Even the wiring needed to be redone. Today we can see pupils who are genuinely motivated, who have a football pitch, nice classrooms, teachers who are happy to be here each morning, a multimedia lab, a library. It's really this sort of intervention that gives true added value. The children at this school like it so much now, they don't even go home when classes finish. I always like coming to the multimedia lab because so much has changed here since the school was done up. Now we've got computers, textbooks, comic strips and loads of other stuff. For the head teacher of the school, the sponsorship deal went far beyond a simple financial transaction. It demonstrated the importance of their environment to the children, leading them to take better care of their school. It's their own idea. Every morning they collect whatever rubbish is around the school and put it in the bin. That proves the strength of the bond we've built between the pupils here and the school. When I'm grown up, I'll come back and renovate it too. Like that, the pupils in generations to come will be able to study in their turn in a properly equipped school. Then, when they grow up, they'll also go on taking care of the school. Here, forging a link between today's schoolchildren and tomorrow's entrepreneurs is paying off. An initiative in Britain to encourage young people to make the most of their creativity was another WISE Award winner. The project brought creative arts professionals together with students to help them prepare for the world of work. Let's have a look. Here in Slough, just outside London, the Priory School has been running creative partnership programs for the last nine years. We're trying to bring our painting back to life with activities. I prefer these. Because it's a lot more exciting. 
where when you do when you're in class you just sort of learn and it's a bit hard where this you just get to have fun and activities. How about you Yassi? Me, I feel the same as well. Like, if if you weren't in class, you would just learn. But here, you don't get a chance like this very often in school. Since the programme was launched in 2002, professionals working in theatre, dance, cooking and landscape design have visited the school to give children skills they wouldn't normally acquire in the classroom. For us as a school, um, being part of the Creative Partnership Programme has been very much about the whole child development. Um, being in school just isn't just about academic studies, it's about preparing children for adult life and working with creative partners really helps children to develop their self-confidence, their self-esteem, to understand themselves as a person by working with individuals who they wouldn't normally have that opportunity to work with. <laughs> The reasoning behind the programme is that since developed economies can't compete with emerging ones in areas like manufacturing, they have to excel in creativity. These creative skills sit at the heart of the kind of skills that 21st century employers are looking for. And if young people come out of school, come out of university with this, without this side of them properly developed, then they are going to be at a huge disadvantage. There will not be jobs for the kind of people with the traditional skills anymore. But it's not a one-way street. The creative professionals working with the programme say the children are hugely inspiring. They pose you questions that you wouldn't normally be able to just make up in your head. And, you know, you're sitting there, you're trying to write a script or something, you're trying to come up with the next creative idea. You go into a school and these children, their imaginations, uh, you know, you can bring them to life, you can help facilitate that. And when they do, they leave you thinking, I, you know, how did I not think of that? such a imaginative idea and you go back and you redevelop your workshops you redevelop your professional work and it just it, it makes so much sense and now we go to Ghana for our final project in sub-saharan Africa teachers are in short supply and because of that standards are sometimes not very high but one scheme offers hard-pressed teachers the chance to improve their skills, offering them school-based training. Here's the report. The TESSA project aims to give teachers advanced training to help them cope in the classroom. 38 African universities contribute to the program and today 700 teachers all over the continent use TESSA methods and tools for free. It's about bringing together the teacher education institutions and universities in Africa to uh, address the issue of uh, um, uh, teaching in, in early childhood education, especially you know, uh, how to develop quality teachers for early childhood education. The aim isn't to revolutionize education in Africa, nor just to concentrate on early learning, but to strengthen teaching techniques in all schools so that what is available is of higher quality. I want to go to rural areas that will get much time for those less privileged because they feel like because they are in the villages, nothing good can come out of there. So. As a teacher, I would love to go there so that I can make them know that they have something good in them, they have something in it. Hello. Tessa provides a range of training opportunities in four different languages via the internet so that everyone can benefit. Tessa has become like a uh, instrument that we use to supplement our teaching and learning. So students out there actually sometimes come into the college to actually download more of the materials that they can use also to teach their peoples. Tessa, education at heart. 
And the other three winning projects are BBC Janala in the UK, Connections in USA, and Suenia Letras in Chile. Well, that's it for now. And remember, you can visit the Learning World website for more information on this and other stories. See you again next week. Learning World, in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation.